All right, so how can you start building your credit with no credit or even bad credit? All right, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a movement of people that are aspiring to conquer and do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. So when it comes to credit, a lot of you guys know, or you may or may not know, but pretty much at some point in time, you guys are gonna need credit. Same thing with me, everybody's gonna need it. You know, me and my business partner, Samir, we actually got started in e-commerce and drop shipping. And we were able to go from zero to 224 grand a month, you know, utilizing credit. If it wasn't for actually for, you know, me having the credit available to start the business, we probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to scale to that amount. And we definitely wouldn't have been able to scale as fast. Because again, the way that e-commerce works, you know, it takes some time after you make a sale to get actually the money deposited in your account. And you have to pay for ads and, you know, your products and things like that. So obviously, if you don't have, you know, much resources when first starting off, then it can limit your business. When we first got started, you know, we didn't have much resource. We probably had $2,000 max that we can uh, afford to invest in our business. So credit was huge for us. But what I wanted to talk about today was two different ways you can actually start working on your credit, even if you have, you know, no credit, you know, if you're just getting started or even if you have bad credit, right? There's a few resources that you can take advantage of and use, you know, to kind of get started, right? How to start building your credit with bad or no credit. So for anyone just getting started, one thing that I thought was super funny is that when it comes down to getting started with credit, it's like a catch 22 because you actually need some type of credit or credit history to actually get credit. So regardless, like you're literally going to need credit at some point in time, even just to get started with credit, you need credit. For anyone that's just getting started, right, with credit, maybe you might have you know, let's say you have a score under, let's say you have bad credit, right? You have a score under 600, uh, which is completely fine because obviously we all got to start somewhere. So there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, one of the ways you can get started is with a secured credit card. And the second option you can also use for any, you know, if you have bad credit or no credit is what's called a credit builder loan. Now this is actually pretty cool because when I was first getting started, I actually didn't know what a credit builder loan was. Uh, and I'm actually just, you know, recently starting to learn more about it and how it works. So I figured I'd also share that with you guys because I know obviously you guys want to utilize different resources that could possibly help and, you know, some shortcuts that could help you save time. And this credit builder one is actually pretty cool and it's one of them. So the way a secured credit card works is pretty simple. So basically you would go to a bank and you would deposit, you know, let's say five. It depends on the limit. The limit, you can, it all depends on the bank and, you know, your credit and things like that. But basically you would go to the bank, you would give them a deposit of, let's say, $500 and they would hold that as collateral. And what they would do is they would then give you a credit card that has a $500 credit limit and you'd be able to use that credit card to pretty much buy anything. The reason why they require that $500 deposit is so that they can have it as collateral because of course, you're coming in to them, you know, as a brand new person with either bad credit or no credit. So obviously they need to have some type of collateral in case, you know, you don't have, in case you can't make your payments or, you know, for any reason you miss a payment or anything like that. So obviously they need to have some type of collateral because you have no history. This is actually a great way to get started because it pretty much, you know, guarantees even if you miss a payment, they're going to have that money there, you know, available to, you know, secure that payment. So usually it ends up where secured credit cards is, ends up being a great way to get started because you're securing, you know, whatever you're spending, it's a pretty much already secured because you already had that deposit there in the first place. So again, this doesn't mean you want to get crazy and just, you know, put down a deposit, get the credit card and then spend it right away. You still want to watch how you spend, you know, with the, you know, when you're first getting these credit cards, but this is one where you can get started. And the best part is, you know, after you start building like that history, you know, you're paying it off on time, you know, and things like that. They report all the history of your payments and everything to the credit bureaus and that starts to slowly build your credit. Now from there you can then like increase your credit line and things like that, but this is a great way for anyone to get started with zero, you know, with no credit or even bad credit. They, they usually you can get approved for this, you know, almost all the time I would say, because again, you are given the deposit for the credit that they're giving you. So it's pretty much like, you know, guaranteed. The next one is a credit builder loan. Now this is something again that I didn't know too much about. I actually just recently started finding out, you know, a lot more about it. The way that a credit builder loan works, it's not like a traditional loan that you would get to get like a, you know, like a Lamborghini or to get a home. Obviously we want to get a loan for those things maybe later on at some point in our lives, but what, for anyone just building their credit, you're probably not going to want to get a loan to get a car or get a house. You probably won't be able to get one. And if you do get one, you're probably going to have like some insane, you know, interest rates. So obviously you don't want that. All right. So the way that credit building loan works is, so you basically get a loan and the way that, you know, the loan works is that the bank that you get the loan from, they'll take it and they'll put it in a separate savings account. And what you do is now you start to, you know, make your payments towards the loan that you have in that savings account. And what happens is, you know, with that loan that you have out, 
you actually get to, you know, obviously make your payment on time, you get to practice on that. But what happens is you also get to utilize, you know, the history of you paying your, you know, that same payment on time. And they end up sending that credit history onto, you know, the different credit bureaus. And that's obviously huge because again, if you're taking out a loan, you know, you're not spending it on just anything. It's actually a loan that's gonna help you build your credit. So it's more of like an investment into yourself. I think this is huge personally, just because again, it's a real easy way to, you know, start getting that practice and getting in the habit of, you know, making your payments on time. Because again, this loan is obviously, you know, not for something specifically, but it's more for your own credit. So obviously if it's something that is for your own credit and for your own good, you're gonna strive to make the payments on time. At least I'd hope you do. That's, that would be the right thing to do. When it comes to credit building loan, you do have to look for specific banks that do them. I don't think every single bank does them, but there is specific banks that do them. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you, you know, you go through everything and you find out you know, what kind of interest is involved you know, with that loan. Usually there is some kind of interest. So I would then negotiate a little bit either with the same bank or maybe look at different ones that you can also take advantage of that may or may not have you know, a lower interest rate. Obviously the lower interest rate, for those of you guys that don't know about interest rates, basically the higher interest rate you get on a loan, the more you end up paying long-term for the loan, the lower interest rate you get, the less you, know, you end up paying long-term for the loans gave you. So you wanna make sure you're looking for one that has a lower interest rate. Now, when you do both of these, it's pretty cool because they are, the, what, what'll happen is when you're doing both, it'll actually start to build your credit a lot faster than just doing one. So if possible, definitely start off with a secured credit card because almost all the time you can do that. Now a secured loan, you know, that one's a little, might be a little bit trickier, but it's still very possible to do it. You know, after you started building credit history and had some trade lines in, you know, now you're gonna have, for anyone that doesn't have a credit score, after you start doing these things, you'll basically now start to establish you know, some type of credit score or, you know, some type of credit. Now, now you're officially going to have some credit and it may, you know, it could be anywhere. Usually the credit score could be, it starts off anywhere from the big companies are FICO and Vantage score. Those are the most commonly used scores and it starts off from as low as 300 or it could be as high as 850. So obviously you might, when you're first starting off, you may be a little closer to a 300 range, but then from where, from there, obviously you'll work your way up. And if you have some type of credit already, maybe below 600, you'll just start to see obviously your credit increase you know, by utilizing both of those strategies. You start working on your credit as soon as possible. There's a huge benefit to it. First, it indicates that you have a good history of paying things off. You get to take advantage of lower interest rate, right? And this is gonna be huge because when it comes time for you to, you know, let's say get a house or get a car, let's say like Lamborghini. I only say that because obviously, you know, I like Lamborghinis. If you don't have good credit and, you know, you try to apply for a loan, one, they may decline you from the loan, obviously. So that'll put you back from getting either the house, the car, or starting a business. Two, if they give you the loan, you're gonna have a super high interest rate, which again, if you get a loan with super high interest rate, you're gonna end up paying you know, way more on the loan than you're supposed to, right? So obviously you wanna try to avoid that. You know, those are the big, pretty much like some of the biggest two things. So the ways you can avoid that is, you know, rather than, you know, spending your, your time and resources trying to just go out there and first thing off the back, like as soon as you get a job, you start making some money, try to, you know, that, well, it depends, of course, if you have good credit or not. If, for anyone that doesn't have good credit, you know, once you start making money or you, you know, you start getting more opportunities coming your way, you wanna make sure you're not taking advantage. You're just trying to, you know, pull out a bunch of credit and get all these unnecessary things. You would. It would be more beneficial for you to work on establishing your credit first before even applying for you know these different credit cards, uh, the ones that are different, other credit cards that aren't secured credit cards, or you know any type of home mortgages or any type of cars or you know pretty much any type of loans or, or credit cards. You would want to stay away from when you're first starting off and building your credit because when you're applying for loans, credit cards with a lower credit score what's gonna happen is you're, again, gonna either get either declined for the loan or you're gonna get a really high interest rate and you're gonna end up paying a lot more for that loan or credit card than you would've if you would've just waited, you know, started to build your credit with either of these two strategies and then applying for these credit cards or loans, you know, later on. Again, I wanna make, make sure you guys keep those things in mind. Again, credit is huge. I personally wish I would've started learning about credit a lot sooner because for me, like now that I'm constantly using credit for different things like, you know, investments, credit cards, and doing all these different things, again, they had to pull my credit for me to get a phone. I was like, you know, if imagine if I didn't have credit, I wouldn't be able to get a phone. When I got my first car, my first BMW, luckily enough, I'd already spent some time building my credit. So obviously I was able to get the BMW, not have much of a deposit down and not have as high as interest. So obviously I was able to utilize my credit for that. And also when I, you know, moved into an apartment or 
you know, I'm living in a, this apartment here. I've already moved a few times here in California. I've been able to utilize my credit and not have to have any types of high deposits. And same thing with like buying a car. If you have bad credit, they usually require a lot higher of a deposit and a lot higher interest rate. So bottom line, focus on building your credit. Start doing it as early as possible. It's going to be super beneficial in the long run. Uh, if you guys did get value from this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know, you know what you've already done to establish and build your credit. Uh, what things you've tried out, what has worked, what hasn't, you know, give me some feedback. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.